if you had this, your risk of COVID after vaccination might be 82 times higher. The Delta variant has been associated with an increasing number of breakthrough cases. However, it doesn't mean that the risk is the same across the board. Those who are fully vaccinated against COVID-19 have a significantly lower risk compared to those who are not vaccinated. According to the US CDC, breakthrough cases happen because no vaccine can provide 100% protection against the disease. If it occurs, the fully vaccinated person is less likely to become hospitalized and suffer from complications. That person may just experience mild symptoms and will likely be advised to stay at home, quarantine themselves to protect others and monitor their condition. Unfortunately, there are those individuals whose risks have been found still high despite vaccination. This is what the new study published in Transplantation suggests. In this study, researchers examined COVID-19 among patients who had organ transplants. They analyzed the data from more than 18,000 fully vaccinated people who underwent transplant surgeries for large organs in 17 transplant centers in the U.S. Of that, 151 patients were identified to have caught the coronavirus. Of 151 patients, over 50% were hospitalized and almost 1 in 10 died. Analysis of relevant factors including the levels of neutralizing antibodies have been conducted. Results show that many of these organ recipients don't produce the needed antibodies. That issue was prevalent even with two doses of effective mRNA vaccines. The findings suggested that the patients couldn't mount a strong defense against the coronavirus. So, how much is the risk in patients who are fully vaccinated but had organ transplants? Researchers clarified that the infection rate based on the data they had was only 0.83%. However, that translated to 82 times higher infection rate compared to the general vaccinated population. Also, the odds of serious COVID were 485 times higher. This is a stark clinical reminder that transplant patients are inadequately protected by the standard vaccine series, said Dori Segev, a transplant surgeon at Johns Hopkins University. Can these patients get optimal protection? According to a study published in the New England Journal of Medicine, those who received the third dose of an mRNA vaccine showed better antibody levels than those who only got two doses. These suggest the potential use of boosters in select population groups.